bring you another Zara haul. Thank you guys so much for the love on the previous Zara haul. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it above for you guys, just here for you guys to check out. This one is just as good. It might even pip the previous one. Of course, everything that I try on will be linked in the description box in chronological order. I try to make the shopping experience a little bit easier because I always have really large hauls of about 15, 16 plus items. So this is, I think, 17. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to get straight into outfit number one. And we're going to kick off with the Zara dresses. So for the first outfit, we've mixed a couple of things together. As I said, I'm starting off with the dresses. This is the printed tool dress and it's $22.99, which I think is such a good price. It's small, medium and large size and wise. Um, so I went with my normal size of a size small. I really, really do like the print on it. I think it's quite nice, but there is another dress very similar in the hall. So we'll be making decisions per usual. Anyway, I've paired it with these strappy sandals, these heeled sandals, because I just want like one like nice pair of, you know, not too high, not too low heels, sandals for like the spring, summer. Um, and I just feel like I don't, I don't have it. Like the ones I have are very, very, very high. So I'm on the hunt. If you guys know of any, let me know. I was thinking about checking out Steve Madden, but these are the high heel sandals. They're 45 99 stuck to my usual size. They've got a thin strap across the foot. Now I can't come up close and show you that because nobody needs to see what state my feet are in currently but the thin strap what it is I feel like they will <sighs> I want them to be super comfy because I want to have them for ages and I just want them to be my faithful okay I'm going out it's them shoes boom but I feel like this strap across my foot I feel like it's gonna go on wicked and bad because right now it's a little bit tight and everyone's like oh but they kind of loosen but will it loosen that's the question. So I think I might return these shoes because I think the strap is very tight across my foot and I don't want to be the person that's like walking crazy in shoes, you know? So I'm going to return these. I do have another pair of sandals in the hall and they were a little bit more expensive. I'm hoping that they don't have that thing that like really restricts. But onto the dress, I think the dress is nice. I think it's a nice, you know, spring piece, easy to wear, easy to quickly throw on. For $22.99, absolutely cannot go wrong. Like I said, I do have another one very similar, so I'm gonna find that and we'll try it on and we'll pick between the two. But I think for $22.99, this one is good. But the other one caught my eye more. Let me stop rambling, let me throw on the next dress. Another printed tool dress and it's $29.99. So just a little bit more expensive than the other one. This again, small, medium and large. I'm wearing it in a size small. I've swapped out the shoes because like I said, that strap was gonna really do some damage. I could just feel it and it was such a relief taking them off. Anyway, this dress I think I prefer to the first one. It has a really lovely, well, it keeps on riding up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it has a really nice low back detail. Whether it stays low there like that the whole time, I don't know. And then it has, like one of the straps is asymmetric, which I quite like, and it's a nice thin strap. It just feels like a really comfortable, nice, easy, light dress to quickly throw on. Again, because it's got that printed tool material, you don't really need to style it that much. I just feel like it does what it needs to do by itself. You don't have to add anything too much to it. Just a nice pair of shoes and you're done. What do you guys think? Do you prefer this one or the first one out of the two? Comment. Let me know. I'm going to move into a, another dress. I wanted, after trying on those quite like printy numbers, I wanted to go for something a little bit more simple, a little bit more chic. This is a satin camisole dress, it's $45.99. I'm wearing it in a small, goes down to an extra small, up to an extra, extra large. What do we think? I think, I don't know, I'm always funny with like the satin camisole dresses because, all right, granted, this does need a teeny tiny little press. I'm looking at it in the viewfinder, especially at the bottom, it just needs a little steam, right? But I always feel like... Sometimes they can be very hit and, mi hit and miss. Sometimes you order them and I find them to be really unflattering. And then sometimes you order them and they sit really nicely. I think this is one that sits really nicely. I do need to adjust the straps a little bit more. So if I turn around and show you guys the back, you can see you can adjust it in the middle, which is really handy. Probably need to adjust that. And then you can also adjust the straps here on the top, like typically where you adjust adjust them. It has a nice kind of low back, not super low to where you're showing crap. I think that's showing off an, enough and I do, I think the cut at the bottom is a nice sort of subtle bias cut. So I think for $45.99 I think it's a good price. I think it's a really great spring piece actually. I think it's something that you can wear so in so many different ways. You can also throw a jumper on it so it just looks like a skirt and I like this colour. What do you guys think? $45.99, it's a little bit more than the printed dresses, but it obviously has a little bit more like, you know, quality to it. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely need to adjust it though, because I'm, 
very very close to showing my chest um but at least you can adjust it and you can adjust it like i said in the middle as well which i like i just didn't i don't want it to be too hitch up hitch up on my back like that giving off hunchback do you know what i mean like <laughs> do you know what i mean but yeah, i think the actual satin material is quite nice it's not showing up like you know the lumps and everything so yeah i think i quite like this i want this seven seven eight out of ten it would be lovely in a black as well such a classic. I think I've got a couple more dresses I'm gonna throw on the next one. Had to pick out a classic LBD. This is the Knit Choker dress. It's $35.99 and I'm wearing it in a size small. Two things, one, the zip was really difficult to do back up. So there's a really thin little zip here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it was really, really difficult for me to do back up. So there's that. I just think, cause the material is a bit, you know, loose. It was just a little bit difficult, but I did eventually manage to do it. Then it is a choker style dress. And um, yeah, the choker bit definitely needs to stretch out a little bit. And then actually three things. It definitely rides up quite a lot. Like I've just taken a couple of steps and you guys can see it's ridden up quite a lot. So I think being that it's a mini dress, it's riding up as well. You'd have to be really, really careful in this because honestly, it's really, really riding up. If you guys watched the previous Zara haul, there was some like amazing bodycon dresses in there and they were like midi in there but they definitely weren't riding up so i think if bodycon is more your vibe check out that other haul for sure but i think this is definitely going to go back just because it is pretty cute i do have stuff quite similar but um it is riding up quite a lot and you know it is a classic dress like it's something that's good to have i also feel like there's like a white thing on it i don't know if it's the viewfinder or what but i feel like there's like a white mark on it which was, I've literally just unboxed it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna send this back. I've got one more dress, it's a denim dress. I'm really, really excited to try it on. Sadly, this doesn't work. It's a denim dress. You guys know Zara have been going crazy for the denim trend at the minute. So I thought, mm, let me see what this is saying. So when I took it out of the box, I realized that the buttons were popper buttons and I was like, wow, that's amazing. Cause I love a good popper button. Now the way that they've styled it, they've styled it not like as a dress, they've styled it with a pair of trousers. So I think if you're gonna wear it like that, then maybe it will work, but, sorry, it's 49.99 by the way, and I'm wearing it in a small. Goes down to an extra small, up to an extra, extra large. It says that the product has a smaller fit than usual. Where the buttons are popper buttons, yeah? Like, as as I turn, do you see what I mean? It gaps, <laughs> so it's just like, what can you really do? I think if you're somebody with a similar figure to mine, see, if I, like, I can't undo that one, because my whole, Pum Pum's out of door, but I think, yeah, if you're someone with a similar figure to mine, you've got thigh hip bum, this is not really gonna work for you. Um, I did throw on a belt, it's just, mm, no, I think I'd have to wear this styled open, just completely open, or like how they've done it on the model with a pair of like jeans or trousers, and that's not really my intention for it for 50 pounds, I'd like to actually be able to wear it as a dress. Um, so yeah, I don't know, this is going back. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the denim trend? Comment and let me know. I think we could be done for the dresses. I did have another pair of shoes. See, look at that, I just bent over and did you hear that pop? You know what, let me, let me throw the next outfit on and then I'll show you the shoes that I'm talking about. It's a really cute outfit. This top is, the rib t-shirt with slogan. I picked it up in a small, it's $15.99. I think they had, I think they had this in like a navy as well, but as soon as these came on, they went off pretty quick. I don't know if they didn't have many to start off with, but size small, $15.99. And then I sized up in this box pleat score. It's $29.99. I sized up and I got it in a medium, and I really, really like the Zara Scorts at the minute. Now, sizing up and getting it in the medium, because mm, it's, do you know what? I just didn't want it to be, like certain classic things, yeah, you just want to buy with a little bit of room because you don't want to hitch up to, you know, you guys not a dress it. But um, the medium does have like a little gap, but I, it's not it's not too big for me. Like I, if I just put it down, it's, I mean, I, I feel like that's too low. Even though low rise is so the thing right now, I just feel like that's a little bit too low for me. I just like things to be a little bit higher. Waist. Anyway, point is, um, I size up a a medium. I think that's a good size. I mean, look, I'd still like to try the small just in case but obviously it's a score so i didn't want it like hitch up hitch up you know so i actually think this is a really good size and i really really like this outfit no cut cutaway you guys will see that i've just thrown on the my knee high leather boots from the zara cell like during lockdown and i got them for like 20 pounds in the end they're like my best best purchase before we got cut off i was going to show you the other uh shoes which i mean what do we think they're a little bit more expensive than the other ones. They're gonna be linked for you guys. I think they're 60 pounds. Let me double check actually. Yeah, so they are 60. 
But I don't know, again, I was putting them on and the strap was just annoying me so much that I was like, Do you know what, this has just got to go. Uh, if they're annoying me now to wear right now in my room getting changed, they're going to annoy me when I step out on the street. So, and you guys know I'm a public transport girly, so yeah, these are going to get returned. Bumble. <laughs> anyway, you know what? Let me move into the next outfit. <laughs> this is a really nice outfit. This is 10 out of 10 for me. I love this. I absolutely love this tee as well. I can see me wearing it with jeans as well, which is just perfect. Pair of trainers, done. We're back on denim. I picked out this TRF denim top. It's only 25 99 which I think is a great price. I'm wearing it in a size small. Goes down to an extra small, up to an extra, extra large. What's great about it is that the fact that denim doesn't have any stretch, they've counteracted it. They've put this little, it's got a little bit of, movement to it right which makes it feasible i kind of wish that these were popper buttons but then i don't know if it will just pop everything out i don't know maybe i don't wish they were popper buttons i left the top one undone because this is like a little bit more of a thicker bit of the top and this one is just very very difficult and just would squeeze my chest a little bit too much i think but what do you guys think of this for 25.99 i think it's a really really great price i think if you want to start it with like a t-shirt underneath you definitely will need to size up so like say that white tee that i had if the slogan was a little bit lower, you could style those two together, but you would need to, yeah, you probably need to size up. It doesn't have, like, you know, it's denim. So it doesn't have, apart from that thing at the back, too, too much stretch, but I do like it. I think the price is really, really good. If I'm gonna pick between this and the denim dress, like I'm 100% gonna pick this. And I'm still, as a, as you guys know from the previous Zara haul, I'm still dipping my toe into the denim trend, so I'm still on the fence about it. But what do you guys think? Comment, let me know, keep or return. Gonna move into the next outfit. Got two tops that I'm gonna whiz through quite quickly. This is the knit top with open back, 15.99. Wearing in a size small. If you've got sensitive skin, be careful. Goes down to small, up to extra large. If you've got sensitive skin, be careful. It's that kind of like lyrics-y, glittery material, so it's a little bit scratchy on your skin. Like the title says, it's like a, what do you call it? Open back, low back. This I'm not crazy about, like it's, yeah. I, I To be honest, sometimes I pick stuff up and I'm like, why did you pick it out? So I'm gonna wrap this up and go straight onto the next top, which is this one, which is size small, 17.99. And this I'd get a lot more wear out of. This is really, really cute. So I'm gonna quickly throw this on. This is a nil pod. This is giving me like groovy chick vibes. <laughs> So here's the top on. I definitely way, way prefer it to the other one that we just tried on. I'm gonna show you guys this detail in the back. I think this is really, really nice. Like it's slightly adjustable as well. You can tie it looser or tighter depending on your preference. I really, really like it. I think this is a really versatile piece. I think the price is quite good. I also love a good ribbed material. This is like a really nice ribbed material. I think with a pair of jeans, it will go really well. Also, I'm quite happy with this score. I feel like it's gone with a lot of the stuff that we've tried on. So yeah, I like this top. I kind of wish they did it in a white, a white and a black as a staple. But yeah, I'm sure they'll probably bring that back out on the website. So yeah, this is the uh, last of the scorts and definitely last of this top. I'm gonna throw on another outfit. I'm gonna go into a little bit more like lighter neutral colors now. Next up, I've paired this stripy top, which is $15.99. It only comes in small, medium, large. The straps are also not adjustable, but I really, really like this color. I think like it's a lovely neutral color to have in your wardrobe for spring, summer. Paired it with the full length gabardine, gab, gab, gabardine, gabard, gabardine, gabardine, anyway. Uh, $49.99. These trousers come with a matching top. This are, It's a halter neck top, but I wasn't as interested in the top as I was in the trousers. I really wanted to give the trousers a try because you know what, for £50, I don't know, they seem like very kind of like designer-esque to me. Um, I don't know though, because you know, a lot of these designer inspired pieces, let's get into it, like they're really designed to fit a certain body type. So I'm not really too sure how I feel about them. I'm wearing them in a size small. I really like the idea that these are really baggy and then the top is nice and tight and fitted. So I like that kind of juxtaposition. I just don't know if I like these trousers what do you guys think you'd obviously see them in a little bit more detail and the length ways cut away i've paired them with trainers so i wanted to do a casual vibe i kept on wanting to try and find some pockets on here but there are no pockets on it what do we think you guys i think they give off a little bit more even though they're casual, I think they look a little bit more kind of like a high fashion vibe. But one thing I've realised with me, I'm a lazy dresser in it. So, I, mm, you know, if I wash these, I'm not going to iron them and get them to sit like this again. Do you get what I mean? But, you know, I like the really flared nature of it. I like the length. The length is a really, really nice length on me. So I'm like, 
but I'm undecided. I've got one more piece to go with this. This is a crop jumper, it's $25.99. Let's just throw it on quickly. And then I'm gonna finish on what I think is gonna be my favorite outfit. I've saved the best till last. Okay, so here's the crop jumper, $25.99. I really like it. Did they have a matching skirt? I don't know if they had like a co-ord with this. I'm not too sure, but this is a really nice jumper. I love the kind of like castaway chic vibe. I've got a very similar uh, jumper and skirt from Mango in the black and I really, really like it. What do we think of this? I think it's a staple for spring, right? It's definitely very, very cropped. It's a cropped crop um, and it's nice and thick, nice and warm, long sleeve. Sorry, the sun's coming in, but what do you guys think? Keep on return. It's just one of those kind of staple basics. Like I said, it's a very cropped crop. I'd maybe prefer if it was less cropped. Or do I? I don't know. I think it looks kind of nice with the, with the trousers. Am I wearing the trousers too low, maybe? I don't know. The trousers have got to go back, man, because obviously I'm... If you guys know, I'm a Libra, so I'm already indecisive. <laughs> These have got to go back. I'm going to go into my last outfit, which I think, as I said, is my fave. So, yeah, definitely my favourite outfit. These are the trousers with zips and top stitching. I'm wearing it in size small, and it's $59.99. And then the matching bustier, 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 whatever, with zip and top stitching, $49.99. I would say if you're in between sizes, just stick to your normal size. Um, the zip top is... It's meant to be a little bit more structured, right? So there's boning in it, but there is also the, you know the little stretchy panels, right? They do have them on both sides. So you can still get into it. I really like this top, to be honest. I feel like the top, I, the, the fit of it is so lovely. Like it will look so nice with so many other things as well. I do like the trousers as well, to be fair. I think size small for me is okay. I feel like they're a little bit pulling a teeny, tiny, tiny bit. With the top, the way that it works, you kind of are able to throw it over the top of the trousers and it sits really, really nicely. I do love this outfit. I think this is for me. This is it, but the only thing, I do wish, like these trousers, I like the zip pockets as well, not that I'd actually ever use them, but I do wish that these were a teeny tiny bit longer, like just a tad, because they're not ankle waters on me but I just or high waters <laughs> ankle badge and high water I just mix them together but they're not like that on me but I just they're edging it man I don't know why they just wouldn't make them a tiny bit longer they would actually like I need them to be the length and almost as flared as the other trousers that we tried on because that would make them a 10 out of 10 but what do we think? What do you guys think of this outfit? This is definitely my absolute fave. So that completes this Zara haul. Comment below, let me know what your favourite one was. Like I said, I did previously, I'm just looking at all the stuff on the floor. I did previously do one a few weeks ago. So if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out um, because there were some really good pieces in that one as well. Let me know what you guys think I should keep. Let me know what you guys think I should return. And if there's anything that I've shared with you guys in this haul that you're gonna be picking up, let me know. Definitely don't forget to give me a follow on all of my socials. I'm on Instagram, Raquel.Sawall, TikTok, Raquel Sawall. Um, and make sure you're liking, sharing. That really, really helps me out on YouTube. Let me know if you guys are into YouTube shorts as well. I'm trying to make sure that I'm quite consistent with those. So comment, let me know your thoughts on them. But that's it from me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.